maybe servant and volunteer, and a longtime member of the La Crosse Tribune editorial board. Please welcome Mary Jo Warner. First of all, I am in awe of all these students. Listening to all these stories is just amazing. And thank you for what you've endured and persevered through. And I'm very excited about the future. I am pleased to announce that we have Corey Falconer is the award winner for our scholarship. My husband and I have established a scholarship for this group. And Corey is going to Montana State University, and I was a partner at an accounting firm called Whiffley, and we happened to have a location there. <laughs> so she's going to be doing environmental sciences, but accounting could be a possibility. <laughs> It is an honor to introduce a 2023 Graft Distinguished Alumni Award winner here at UWL for his leadership and mentorship, and also happens to be the CEO of TrustPoint, Bill Bosch. I feel like the pressure just went up with Chancellor Gallo sitting in the room here as well. So, <laughs> good evening, everybody. I want to thank, uh, say thank you to Rusty, the River Valley Media Group, Chancellor Gao for hosting, and for the La Crosse Community Foundation for continuing the good work with the Extra Effort Awards. On behalf of TrustPoint, I want to thank all of the award recipients for sharing your stories, inspiring us, and congratulating each of you on your Extra Effort Award. These awards come with hard work, perseverance, and are very well deserved. I have the honor to present the award to Braden Slama, Braden, would you please come forward? Just a few things to share about Braden as he walks up. Uh, his favorite sport is hockey. He attended his first prom this weekend. He is also a Merit Scholar finalist. He starts his new job at Old Navy, and he wants to pursue a, uh, a job in software development. Congratulations, Braden. Presenting a scholarship on behalf of Marine Credit Union Foundation, and by the way, she was on the page one of the Tribune today for her volunteer work. Please welcome Majel Hine. education for the Marine Credit Union Foundation and we are super excited for all of you receiving awards tonight and want to extend our best wishes and recognize the Tribune for an extra for achievements tonight and we celebrate everyone's collective accomplishments. Uh, our partner Marine Credit Union provides financial services throughout Wisconsin, Iowa and Minnesota at Marine Credit Union Foundation, we address challenges and create opportunities in the communities we serve. Thanks to our generous members, employees, and donors, we have created meaningful and lasting change. Tonight, I'm really honored to have met Caitlin Tapa, and am very excited to have met her friends and family as well, and want to present you with your scholarship tonight, if you want to come up. heard her perseverance, her resilience in the face of loss and trauma. We all do what we do to get by, uh, to be on the other side, but to come out wanting to help people feel beautiful on the inside and the outside is extraordinary. I extend an enthusiastic congratulations to you uh, from graduating from Toma High and all of us at Marine Credit Union and the Foundation celebrate your accomplishments and are excited for you going to cosmetology school. Well, I have the honor of handing out a couple scholarships. One, the Mitchell 
Kruk Scholarship on behalf of George and Betty Kruk. Betty, where are you? Betty, what you need to know is that George isn't here because George is at another scholarship reception at this very moment. So they divide and conquer because they're so generous to help education. Uh, they're just fabulous friends and I appreciate all that you do. The winner of the Mitchell Kruk Scholarship has endured three autoimmune disorders starting at age two. Her strength, backed by family, faith, and friends, has helped her overcome her struggles. Now she wants to use her experience to make a difference for others. The winner is Miriam Larson of Luther. And the next one I get to present is on behalf of my wife, Gail, and me. Gail has helped with every single extra effort reception. And yet, that clearly is one of the more pleasant parts of being the wife of a journalist. <laughs> We're excited to present an extra effort scholarship to a student who, who demonstrates artistic brilliance. He's clever, imaginative, original, self-directed, and he's ready to learn. He's Tyson Hardy of Parade de Chine. Speaking of couples who are so generous to education on all levels in this region, Ron and Jane Rada have done so much to support scholarship, excellence in academics, and they are gracious as well with our extra effort program. Please welcome Jane Rada. to Macy Tauscher from West Salem High School, but before doing so, we'd like to make a, a couple of general comments. Ron and I support the Extra Effort Awards program because of the important need that it fills and the validation that, that it gives deserving students throughout our area. The challenges that you faced at such early ages have changed your lives in profound ways, yet you've demonstrated remarkable resiliency in carving a path forward through your perseverance and the support of others, family, friends, and community, and especially from those who nominated you. They believe in you, and they see power in how you inspire those around you. We believe in the value of education as one of the key elements in your journeys to achieve your goals and aspirations. Stories told by the Tribune about former Extra Effort Award recipients, which include what the award meant to them and where they are now, clearly demonstrate the value of this program and its rich history. So thank you to the Tribune, to donors, and the Lacrosse Community Foundation for creating and sustaining this program. And now to you, Macy. Your strength and determination to move forward after losing both your father and your sister in such a short time speaks volumes about your character and your ability to assess who you are as a person. Seeing your resilience, and really that of all of you who are here being recognized here tonight, gives us hope for the future. We will be in good hands. Macy, would you come forward? to be announced by the new executive editor of the Lacrosse Tribune River Valley Media, Todd Cretion. Wow, what amazing, uplifting stories we've heard tonight. 
I have additional scholarships uh, the first uh, to announce, uh, the first of which is for Harley Shams of DeSoto. And I believe all of these are not here tonight, is that correct? One of the, you may want to go ahead and read is, is Harley here tonight? Yes. I'm sorry. Okay. Uh, Harley Shams, come on up. tonight were uh, Caitlin Smith of Aquinas, Aquinas and Lexi Edgerly of Viroqua, who um, both of whom were unable to join us, but definitely deserve our recognition. For all 27 years of this program, it started with the three lacrosse area college and universities. The Turbo, UWL, and Western have partnered to provide scholarships for every year of this program. And I thank each of you for continuing that wonderful tradition. To present the Viterbo University Scholarships, it's an honor to introduce the university's 10th president, Rick Tritely. First, let me offer my personal congratulations to all of tonight's Extra Effort Award winners. Your stories are truly inspiring. You've overcome so many odds, and we're so proud of you. Tonight, I have the honor of awarding two scholarships to Viterbo University. The two students tonight will attend the university beginning in the fall, and we are so happy to welcome them to the Viterbo community. First is the St. John the 23rd Scholarship Award. This is an award sponsored by the Viterbo Alumni Board, it is a $4,000 scholarship, and I'm pleased to help one of our young ladies tonight fulfill her dream of becoming an Air Force flight nurse by first getting a nursing degree at Viterbo University. Ivy Thorson, Cashton High School. scholarship is the Viterbo University Extra Effort Award Scholarship. It is one of the largest scholarships we give at the university. It's valued at $24,000. Very pleased to award this to a future kindergarten teacher, Ariana Martin of Bangor High School, and tonight her principal will accept her scholarship if she could not join us. Congratulations. <laughs> the scholarship on behalf of the University of Wisconsin Lacrosse. Please welcome back Chancellor Joe Gow. Didn't I tell you, the student stories are better than anything I could ever say. Wow, what a special night. And um, we do move these awards around. And so you might not know this, but you know, okay, it's here at UWL, but it'll be at the Turbo and Western and other years. And it's just so great, the partnership that we have and, um, you know, I've traveled around the state, and I don't think there's any other community that has these close connections between institutions of higher education. So it's, it's really a privilege uh, to be a part of that. Well, I told you earlier, we'd love to see any of these students here at UWL, but we had to pick one. And um, the stories, again, they're all just... Compe so compelling, and, and, and our good friend Jane Rada used that word resilience, and that's just really what it's about, and so impressive. And so somebody that is incredibly resilient, to the point where he saved his dad's life. Um, I'm talking about Evan Voss from Black River Falls. Evan, please come up.
longtime supporters, Western President Roger Stanford was unable to join us this evening, but we're blessed to have uh, the Executive Director of the Western Foundation, Jacqueline Schreiner, to present the Western Scholarship. Good evening. On behalf of President Roger Stanford, I would like to say what an honor it is for Western Technical College to be an extra effort program partner for the past 27 years. We are fortunate to have a community that truly cares and believes in others. Tonight, Western is thrilled to award Jordan Krieger from GET High School with a scholarship because of her grit and resiliency. Rising above her difficult experiences, she is driven to succeed and is an inspiring role model for students and adults. Jordan, we're proud of your accomplishments and are looking forward to having you as a student at Western. Congratulations. <laughs> This is the time of the evening where I know many of you have started running out of Kleenex, but the good news is I've run out of script. So it's time for me to wrap up. To UWL, our host this evening, Western of the Turbo, we appreciate all 27 years of your continued generosity and support. To our friends at the Lacrosse Community Foundation to make the extra effort to make this an even stronger program for years and years to come, I thank you. To our many additional sponsors, so many new ones this year, I can't thank you enough for your kindness in supporting these outstanding students. To families, to educators, this is such a busy time of year and we're so thankful you could join us here this evening. Honestly, I'm also proud to have worked many, many years for a newspaper group that invested in reporter time to cover the kinds of stories that you've been hearing and reading about these exceptional students. But most of all, to our Lacrosse Review Next Effort Award winners, we're so very, very proud of you. You've shared your stories and your courage, your talents and your character. Talent is a gift. Character is a choice. We admire the courageous choices that you've made under the most difficult circumstances. On behalf of Lacrosse Review and River Valley Media and all of our partners, thank you so much for joining us this evening. Mm -hmm.